Hoffman, Guinness World Record holder of the largest Winnie the Pooh collection in the world, and I'm really excited. Today I'm going to be visiting the Milwaukee Mitchell Domes because they have an exhibit and the theme is the 100 Acre Wood. So come on in and let's get started. So here I am in the show dome, and so the theme is the Hundred Acre Wood. And so if you look in back of me, you're going to notice the theme of the dome is very specifically Winnie the Pooh. And so you're, we'll, we'll go around the dome and you'll notice different areas that are definitely the colors of Winnie the Pooh and the different characters, Piglet, Tigger, uh, rabbit and so uh, I just had a chance to visit with the art director behind this dome his name is Bert and so he took me around and talked to me a little bit about what they did in the dome to keep it the Winnie the Pooh theme and so follow me and I'll show you some of the places that Bert showed me so here is one of the props and it's uh, Mr. Sanders house and so it's Winnie the Pooh's house and so in talking with Bert he was telling me that the tree is actually made out of cheesecloth and then paint it. Um, and a fun fact is that they've actually used this tree in other exhibits before, but now it's Mr. Sanders' house, and boy, does it not look perfect? <clears throat> so throughout the dome, you'll notice that there's different areas that represent each one of the characters, and so here I am on Acoustics Bridge, and you can be able to see Winnie the Pooh with his hunting pond, and the red balloon and little piglet sitting next to Winnie the Pooh. So uh, notice the beehives in the tree and so they're made out of wicker baskets and so what Bert did is he took different items and, and he used them to inspire him for the different pieces of the story. Even something as subtle as the path edges are made out of the wood pieces like you'd see probably in the forest many of the different flowers not only for their color but in this situation these are called pot mums and so like the honey pot and so the red and yellow how perfect for Winnie the Pooh. You can't have a bridge and a body of water without thinking about poo sticks but you can't play poo sticks here. Look at the sign no poo sticks here. Here are some more pot mums however now it looks like we're getting into Eeyore's area because they're purple and the dark purple and the bluish colors, very much representative of Eeyore. So to stay on Disney's good side, uh, the domes made sure that they didn't actually specifically say that this was Eeyore, but made the character of the donkey more uh, Pooh-esque so that they didn't have to, to worry about trademark or tra copyright issues and so, but clearly a beautiful representation of a, a donkey and Eeyore with the right colors. And so Bert actually made this one by hand and so I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I was. Who? Well, look who we found this time. Looks like we found Owl. They were thinking about using topiaries for all of the characters. However, they were really kind of uh, kind of difficult to, to put together in and to uh, get into the right shape so that they looked right. However, they did do a fabulous job with Eeyore. Absolutely love Eeyore's house in the background. Once again, looking at the plants and seeing which ones are actually named for the characters. And so take a look at this representation of Tigger. I think Bert did an absolutely fabulous job. Scattered throughout the whole show dome are different Winnie the Pooh quotes. And I love this one. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. The wood exhibit wouldn't be complete unless there was something from Rabbit's Garden. What a great exhibit with Rabbit's House. A day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey left in it. At first I'm thinking, hmm, 
that looks a little bit like an elephant. It doesn't look like Eeyore, but actually this is the Heffalump Garden. How wonderful. Take a look at the balls too. The balls have that Heffalump color, kind of like stripedy theme. And the beautiful elephant topiary. What he did is he actually looked at a cell from Winnie the Pooh and emulated the background of the Hundred Acre Wood and then incorporated in the real trees that are actually in front of the mural. Don't forget, because this is another episode of Never Enough Pooh, you'll have an opportunity to win a free Winnie the Pooh from me. So all you need to do is go on out to youtube.com slash mostpooh5150, subscribe to my page, then go on over to mostpooh.com, click on the contest link, and at the end of the month, if you've entered into the contest and have the right answers, you'll be entered to win a free Winnie the Pooh for me. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget, you can always contact me on Facebook or even if you want to email me at deb at most poo. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your opinion about the show, though. Thanks so much in TTFN.